the principles of risk neutrality, replication, and arbitrage are central to your understanding of derivative pricing and valuation. Replication refers to the creation of the exact equivalent of one financial instrument through the combination of two or more different financial instruments. In this presentation, I demonstrate worked examples of replication using the risk-free asset and spot and forward markets for gold. There are six possible replications given these three financial instruments. All examples use the same starting and ending circumstances shown at the bottom of the screen. The risk-free rate is 10%, the forward price is 110,000 Rand, and the spot price at T0 is 100,000 Rand. After one year, at T1, there are two independent situations. Either the spot price is 90,000 Rand, as in case A, or it is 140,000 Rand, as in case B. There are two different ending situations so as to illustrate clearly in each case that the replication is a success. Let's start in the top left hand corner with the proposition that a long position in the risk free asset is replicated by a long position in the gold spot market combined with a short position in the gold forward market. Notice that there is of course an implied positive, in other words a silent plus sign for the R and the S in this replication equation. We are also obviously aware that a plus means a long position and a minus means a short position. For case A, where the spot price of gold is 90,000 Rand, the long gold position loses 10,000 Rand because the gold was originally bought at 100,000 Rand. The short forward gains 20,000 Rand. Thinking about the situation mechanistically, the short buys gold for 90,000 Rand in the spot market and then immediately sells it for 110,000 Rand in terms of the forward contract. Alternatively, and more quickly, expiration spot is below the forward price by 20,000 Rand, resulting in a gain for the short. When the 10,000 Rand loss on the gold and the 20,000 Rand gain on the forward are added together, the result is a net gain of 10,000 Rand, which is exactly the same as a 10% return over one year on the risk free asset. This demonstrates a successful replication. In case B, the gold spot price ends the year 40,000 Rand higher than it started, resulting in a gain of this amount. The forward incurs a loss of 30,000 Rand because the position was a short and the expiration spot price is 140,000 Rand in comparison with a forward price of 110,000 Rand. Note that, even with very different conditions after one year, the outcome in cases A and B is exactly the same an accurate replication of a long position in the risk free asset. In the bottom left hand corner, all signs are reversed to show that a short position in the risk free asset, which is exactly the same thing as borrowing at the risk free rate, is replicated by a short position in the spot market, which is also called a short sale, and a long position in the forward market. In case A, the short sale of gold generates a profit of 10,000 Rand. This occurs because the gold is borrowed at T0 and sold on that date for 100,000 Rand and then bought back at the end of the year for only 90,000 Rand in order to return it to the gold lender. The forward loses because it is a long and the expiration spot price is 20,000 Rand lower than the forward price. Once again, Replication is demonstrated because the combined outcome is negative 10,000 Rand, which is exactly the same as borrowing 100,000 Rand for one year at the risk free rate of 10%. Case B shows that the outcome is exactly the same if gold increases its price instead to 140,000 Rand. In the middle column, a forward contract is replicated by combining positions in the spot market and the risk-free asset. 
For the upper central example, a long forward is created when a long gold holding is funded by borrowing at the risk-free rate. In case A, the gold spot position loses because the price has decreased from 100,000 Rand to 90,000 Rand. In addition, the short or borrowing position in the risk-free asset generates a cash outflow of 10,000 Rand. In combination, the total loss is 20,000 Rand. This is exactly the same as a long forward contract priced at 110,000 Rand with an expiration date spot price of 90,000 Rand. In case B, where the gold spot price increases by 40,000 Rand, there is an equivalent gain for the gold holding, against which is offset the interest cost of 10,000 Rand for a net gain of 30,000 Rand. Replication is confirmed because this is exactly what a long forward would have earned. The remaining examples are provided for completeness, but things get very repetitive, so I will not spend additional time talking them through. Pausing the video will allow you to work through each situation in order to confirm your understanding.